to this week's vlog. Um, so this week, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I have to finish editing my video for Starch, the candy corn kitten. Uh, so she'll be available in my shop if she's not already been adopted. Um, so I need to finish the video for her. Um, but in the meantime, I have um, almost finished the other three dolls. So the moss raccoon, the dusk fox and the black raven. So they're almost done. I'll be working on those today um, and just see how much I get done. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got planned for today. Um, I'm waiting for some figures to come. So I might do some review videos on the figures. Um, if you're interested, they're Naruto figures. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm waiting for them to come. So I'm interested to do uh, to see what they're like. They're pretty cool ones. Um, if you know anything about Naruto figures, you know the gem ones are pretty cool. So um, yeah, i got a couple of those coming. Um, but yeah. I think that's pretty much what is planned for today. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll start doing some stuff. I was going to show you, I'm actually fermenting some kombucha at the moment, and I've got a, just a little batch in this Sumiko Gorashi um, uh, jar, but it's pretty cool because it's growing another scoby if you're not familiar with um, kombucha. It's growing another scoby, so you can sort of see the scoby in there. Um, but, yeah, it's growing another one. So you can see how it's, like, growing a sort of little thicker one here. Uh, it's a sort of just, like, a test batch, but um, yeah, it seems to be doing really well. So I bought this this jar uh, so I can do a whole lot more, and the so scoby can actually sit properly in it. Um, and this is a four-litre jar, so... We will try and test it out very, very soon, but it's very vinegary, which is really good. Uh, means it's working. So, yay. It's growing. morning I did some guard I bought some um, actually what do you call it <laughs> uh, cucumbers I bought some cucumbers and I bought some egg eggplants and some sugar snap pea seeds to plant in my garden uh, so I planted them this morning and uh, hopefully they grow um, but yesterday I got quite a lot done I've got all three dolls almost finished so they should be coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks um, hopefully I have one of them ready to go up next week but um, the candy corn kitten went out this morning up for in my shop. Um, so if you're interested in her, head to my shop and um, see if she's still available. And payment plans are also welcome if you're interested in doing something like that. So 
I'll show you the first one that I got done. Well, it's not done. I still have a little bit to do, but uh, we've got the Black Raven here um, with the blue eyes. Uh, here in Australia, you get crows here, and it's pretty common for them to have blue eyes, so uh, that's where I got the idea from. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've got the tail ready to go. Everything's been painted. Um, there's still a little bit of work to do on the wings. Um, I just was waiting for things to dry and see how everything sat properly before I um, moved on to anything else. So there might be a few little bits and pieces that need a bit more um, attention, but they're looking pretty good. Um, and I always try to find ethically sourced feathers as well. So um, these ones were, it said in the description that they were ethically sourced. So I can't um, kind of go to believe that, I guess. Um, so yeah, they are ethically sourced, faux fur. Um, so today I might try and finish the head off and um, just do it, uh, patch up any little jobs that need to be patched. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like from a distance. Um, so fairly happy with the way it's turning out. Um, so almost done with that one. Uh, I sort of have to be weary to keep the feathers away from my cats. Um, the next one we have, I wasn't intending to actually apply uh, the fur to all of them. I just had one in mind, which was the fox, but I ended up doing the raccoon, so he's in need of a bit of a trim. Um, they both are, they're just wait, I was just waiting for them to dry overnight. So I could probably give them a trim today and see what their little faces look like. Um, so this one's, I also have the feet to do and I need to, to trim it up a little bit. Um, so this is the mossy raccoon. So it's the same, um, it's the same fur that I used for the other raccoon, for Bandit. But this one has been dyed um, a bit of a green tinge. So I'll have the dyeing process on my Patreon in the next couple of weeks when this one goes up. Uh, yeah, so that will be over on my Patreon for my uh, $5 and up supporters. So that's that one. The next one is the Dusk Fox. Um, so ooh, the camera's picking it up really strangely. But yeah, I applied uh, the fur to the face. It's looking pretty cute. Um, I'm liking the way it's looking already, but needs a, needs a trim. Um, so I'll give that a trim today. I'm also wanting to add some black markings as well so I haven't really settled on what kind of markings I guess I'll just wing it and see how it turns out uh, and also have to add some fur to the feet um, and this fur is particularly hard to work with as well because it's not um, the under pile is not as thick as some of the other ones so it sort of breaks apart a bit e more easily um, but once you know once you've applied it and stuff it's pretty good um, but you just have to be really careful when you're trimming things to just be weary of the backing because it is thinner so um, things show through a bit easier or a bit more um, so always something to keep in mind when you're using thinner uh, for fur and that's just the nature of the actual pile it's, it's it has this sort of texture because it's thin so um, yeah something to keep in mind when you're using fabrics that are looks like a rhino fabrics out that are a little bit thinner as well, just to, to note how they behave. So yeah, I got quite a bit done yesterday, so there wasn't a lot of um, fantastic footage because it was mostly just took all day to do these three dolls. Um, but yeah, finally got it done though. More than I expected. Anyway, I'll probably just do a couple of little things for the rest of the day. Um, and... Yeah, I think that might be it. So I guess I'll start doing some stuff. <laughs> Just gonna show you some figures that I got. Uh, I got this Kakashi figure. Um, it's from um, back in 20, 2010, I think it is. Uh, it's a small, like you win them in the um, arcade machines. But I got this from Mandarake. And I also got um, a Shikamaru one, 
so that's pretty cool. Both from the same store. Um, I also got like this little Naruto thing, little keychain. So I got the Kakashi one. Um, but there's a whole lot of different ones that you can get in the selection. It's cute. I um, also got a Kakashi keychain. Probably won't put it on anything because I won't, uh, I don't want to lose it. But it's a cool little metal keychain. Um, I also got a gem figure of Shikamaru. Um, you can get a bit of look. So that if you're familiar with the gem figures, they're pretty uh, good quality, like they're the best quality you can get. Um, so I got this one from Mandarake pretty cheap. Um, and the box is perfectly fine, the figure hasn't been opened before. So sometimes it's a bit hit and miss with Mandarake because um, I don't exactly tell you the quality of the product or if it's damaged or anything. I mean they do but they don't really, they always just say uh, the box is damaged but this one's not which is really really good and I got it for half the price that you what you can get that here. And I also got this Kakashi one from Madman, um, it's also a gem figure as well. So one of the better quality ones. Um, I haven't opened anything yet uh, just because I don't want my cats to get into it. But um, I will when I get like a display cap that properly. But I could probably do like a little figure review on them as well. So I can show you what the actual figure kind of looks like there. And so it's displayed like this. Which is pretty pretty cute. So yeah. here uh, I managed to pretty much finish off my uh, mossy raccoon uh, so that one will be available in the next I haven't decided whether I'm gonna do it next week or the week after because um, I kind of want to get the raven up because um, it's kind of Halloween themed but I've still got a little bit to do I've got to finish the feet and add the whiskers and stuff I have a whiskers tutorial on my patreon for um, five dollar and up uh, where I show everything that I do about the whiskers um, and then I'll, I need to add some, some, um, stripes on the, uh, tail as well. But I'll do that when I start doing the shading and stuff for everything else. Uh, as you can see, I did the shading for the face. Um, but, yeah, so that's almost done. Um, sorry, my battery died. Um, so I also trimmed the fox head. Um, and just added a little bit of markings to the face. I'm going to add a whole lot more, but um, like I said, I'm not sure what, what. Um, but really liking the way the face turned out. It's like a highlighter version of a fox. Um, yeah, it's got a really n nice face, this one. 
So usually, because I, I mold, uh, I cast out of the same um, mold, so all the heads are the same shape. But when you attach the fur, they end up looking different in their own way. Um, so, you know, it looks a bit different from the last one. I made this one looks a bit more mysterious, the other one looks a bit more cheeky. Um, but, yeah. Liking, and I like how thin these came out as well. I think it works really well. Um, so yeah. Um, I also wanted to show you, I've been playing Toreba again. Um, and there was like two Naruto figures that came out. And I want to show you the Naruto figures that I won. Uh, I don't know how well you can see, but... Um, so I won the uh, Sasuke one. Um, and I won the new Sakura um, Shinobu Relations one, Grandista. So I've got the Kakashi, Naruto, and Sasuke one, and I, all I needed was the Sakura one, and it came out yesterday, um, and then I had a go, and I actually won it, yay! So for the Sasuke ones, there's Naruto and Kakashi one coming out, so I want to try and get those as well, because things might as well get a set. <laughs> um, but I'll insert the, the footage of the winning footage because um, I sort of was just playing around with it while it's in the background. But I'll insert the uh, winning footage here. this week um hopefully i'll have these little critters uh, up for grabs in the next couple of weeks but um as normal i want to thank my patrons for supporting me um and hopefully the content that you get is good <laughs> i'll have my uh, new free printable coming up this next week um and it will be a printable of an illustration of this character fox um so I might put it in my uh, store as a, a as a digital print that you can purchase, but my patrons will get that as a free printable. So, so um, yeah, if you want to get that for free, then uh, yeah, support me on Patreon. But in the meantime, you can check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat, uh, and my shop at CreaturesofNat.com. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <music>